Paul's conversion, how he gets saved and what Jesus does in his life is very important to the history of Christianity. Jesus spoke to Paul as he was traveling down the road to Damascus and Paul was traveling so that he could gather Christians together and put them in prison because he believed they were spreading false or, or lies about God. So Paul was on the way to kill Christians, to put them in prison, and Jesus showed himself to him on the road to Damascus and saved him from his sins and chose him to be the person that would spread his name and make the name of Jesus famous. So Jesus saves Paul on his way to kill Christians and chooses him to spread the gospel or the good news of Jesus to all people. Then Paul goes on his first missionary journey with Barnabas. The Holy Spirit sent Paul and Barnabas to tell Jews and Gentiles about Jesus. Saul, who became known by his Roman name, Paul, was with the church in Antioch. The Holy Spirit chose Paul and another believer, Barnabas, for a special work. So they obeyed and left Antioch to do the work. God led Paul and Barnabas to tell the good news about Jesus to not only the Jews, but the Gentiles, or people who were not Jews. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Lystra, and Paul healed a man there who was lame. The man had never been able to walk. The people saw what Paul had done, and they thought Paul and Barnabas were gods. They began to worship them. But Paul and Barnabas tore their clothes and shouted, No, we are not gods. We are men just like you. We want to tell you the good news of God. Then some people showed up from Antioch and Iconium, cities where Paul and Barnabas had preached about Jesus. These people caused trouble, so that the people in Lystra turned against Paul and Barnabas too. They threw stones at Paul and dragged him out of the city. They thought he was dead, but the believers in Lystra gathered around Paul and he got up. The next day, Paul and Barnabas went to the city of Derbe. They told people there about Jesus and many people believed. Then they went back to Lystra and to Iconium. They encouraged the believers there to continue in the faith. They told the believers that they would face suffering because they believed in Jesus. Paul and Barnabas also chose leaders for the churches there. Finally, Paul and Barnabas returned to the church in Antioch. They reported everything God had done on their journey and how God had helped them share the good news with the Gentiles. Paul and Barnabas faced many people who rejected the good news about Jesus, but God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with Gentiles, no matter what troubles Paul faced. Many believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel was shared so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus as Lord and Savior. Review questions. Try to answer the question before the answer appears. Who helped start the first churches? Paul and Barnabas. What happened when Paul told the man in Lystra to stand up? He jumped up and started walking around. What did Paul and Barnabas say when the people thought they were gods? We are men just like you. What did Paul and Barnabas want to tell everyone they met? The good news about Jesus. How do people hear about Jesus? God uses Christians to tell others about Jesus so they may repent and be saved. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you 
and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1.8 God's plan is for the good news of Jesus to spread all over the earth through Christians telling people about Him. Just think about it. Who can you tell right now, or tomorrow, or this week about Jesus? Spread the name of Jesus and make it famous. Make Him famous and not ourselves. Bring glory to God because that is our purpose.